when I said I got a bunch of flack about saying about suicide, about Capital Steve's jumping off a fucking building and Splatman and all kind of shit. But I said I said that because um, his friend came at me talking about another friend that sold more records than me, making it look like me being independent is an L. Mm. But I was minding my business. It just came at me. It's no rules to a reaction. But I got a lot of flack about that from different people. But I'm like, wait, if you're going against me, you're going against God, dog. Because I'm <laughs> only speaking on what's in the Bible. Take your personal shit away from it. Take what We all know people that committed suicide. I'm taking my personal shit away from it. And then you just dealing facts and the world would be a better place. Right. So that was a wild time. I definitely I would, remember I had people couple being wild times, deeply man. upset about that one. But fuck the fuck. Why? Why would you say <sighs> fucking read the Bible? You get upset. I close this. I hate this shit. I'm going to the New Testament. This is whack. I mean, there's just certain things that I feel like it is going to make you look like such an asshole that even if it logically makes sense, right. that it's probably for the best to not use that, especially when you're coming at like, like, that, you know, because we live in the age of, political. of we live in the age of smoking on ops and all this shit that you got to hear about rappers doing all the time. So in retrospect, that does feel like a little more normal even, for you to say something that, like that. It's fucking, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. They dissing 50 cent dead moms. Jay Z throwing condoms in the backseat of the. Oh, yeah, right. It, like, this is the shit I grew up on. You're right. Pusha T is one of the greats. Like, mm. this is it. This rap is very disrespectful. Mm. So I'm like, wait, hold on. It's like watching WWE and then you get into it and you realize, wait, this shit is not for real. You're not really slamming people. Right. And then when the. When the guy comes and really slams somebody on your neck, he's the bad guy. Oh, wait, oh, you're wrestling too real. We don't do this here. Right. Like, what the fuck? So if I had to go through everything I had to go through and take all the slander from me saying, yo, if you commit suicide, you fucking stupid, instead of me glorifying and saying, yeah, long live you. You took a leap of faith. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to cherish you forever. If right. I got to say, yo, you a dickhead, don't do that. You're selfish. You fucking uh, leaving your moms in tears and other people who love you. That's fucking uh, idiot. It's an uh, idiot move. If I got to do that, go through all my bullshit just to have this literally happen, I had people DM me, hey, yo, Choi Ave, I'm not going to front. I was going through some bullshit. I was thinking about doing something bad, but you you really saved me because of what you said. Right. It's a fact. I don't be lying and capping. Like, this really happened. So, like, if I got to go through that to save one life, two life, three lives, it's worth it. It ain't no biggie. Yeah, but now the conversation about mental health has kind of evolved to a certain extent where you're supposed to be understanding of people going through shit and there's like this general cultural understanding world, of depression bro. and stuff. Bro, like we live in a fucking real world. I go through depression, I go through man. Don't know I got real I can't sit in a fucking low farm without being extra on point. I got shot in my fucking head, shot in my back, drove myself damn near to the hospital like that shit is real trauma to you. It's mm. all about how you deal with it. And all that kitten gloves and being politically correct and shit, that's not the real world. That's like, I got two little boys. I don't raise them like fucking women because when they go out in the real world, shit is going to be real. Mm. You feel me? So, like, all this, it's too much It's too much bullshit happening right now where, oh, it's okay to wear a fucking dress and you're a man. All right, well, then don't be upset when you walk in on your men sucking a dick. You feel me? Because the girl said, oh, I like when my guy was just a little schooly. All right, well, don't be upset when you walking on him sucking a dick. Not, and I don't have no issue with gay people. I have issue with people who are frauding because that's when a lot of, and I, I can say whatever the fuck I want. I'm independent. Right, I'm yeah. not going to have to be, oh, you're my sponsors. I'm still be rich. But I don't like when, like, like I got a, I got a homegirl in Atlanta. I'm going to not say her name or whatever. But long story long, she had a boyfriend in, like, just like from personal experience, she had a boyfriend. He ended up being a down low brother, which is like a gay guy or whatever. Mm. Cool. So he ended up giving her HIV. You mm. know what I'm saying? And like she didn't know nothing about nothing or whatever until it was too late and he said he was dying and shit. And I'm like, what kind of what kind of low down, dirty piece of shit is that? He you gave her AIDS? He oh, gave her wow. HIV. Right. You know what I'm saying? She She's still alive now. She got That's why I ain't gonna blow her shit up. She got But those, those are two but, very different things for the record is that like you could be a gay dude who lives an honest healthy life and you could right. be a dude who has a, you could be a heterosexual dude who has AIDS and is already giving she didn't, it to people. She, yeah, she didn't tell she he didn't wasn't telling her that yo, I'll fuck with dudes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like low key. And then he ended up giving her AIDS and like it was dope. at least be honest like if you tell a chick yo I fuck, I'm fucking with dudes. 
I don't know from personal experience, but I'm just guessing. She's probably going to say, yeah, let's use some condoms or something. That's a it's her choice. So fuck that's, you. that's a conversation we frequently have on here where we'll be talking to random girls and we'll ask them how they would feel if they knew that their boyfriend used to fuck with dudes. And they always, well, it's I don't want to say always, but they, your boyfriend they no more. almost always say that they would not fuck with a dude if, if that was in his past, even though... Politically, you know, media wise, you're really expected to not say that. But Why? it's like it's it's like a, a, it's an opinion that it seems like a huge percentage of girls, probably by far the majority of girls share. But you can't say it on camera, which is if, you can say whatever the fuck you want on camera if on you no don't jumper, give a yes, fuck. Yeah. yeah, or the if, facto show. Yeah, on the facto show, if you don't give a fuck, you can say whatever you want. You could double down. Look at Donald Trump. He became the president doubling down mm. when they when they said the yeah, I, what he said, I grabbed her right by the pussy. They thought he was gonna back down and shit. We all thought it was he, over for him. We right all then. thought it was over. <laughs> we all thought crooked Hillary won. Yeah. But she didn't. He stayed the fuck in it. Like, this is what it is. All right, guys. So the No Jumper Clips channel right here. Make sure you subscribe. We just blasted past 30,000 subscribers. Our next goal is 50,000 subscribers. Please help us out and hit that red button. Thank you.